Hello, well today I thought I'd return to the Patcher sewing machine and I have already put a film up about the Patcher and its capabilities and it's a great machine but I've had a lot of people ask me about needles and thread what needles should they use, what thread should they use and I thought well actually let's cover a little bit about needles and thread but also let's have a look at treadling as well so there's a bit of something for everyone there so here's the great Patcher I've had a reorganisation of my workshop and I have now managed to put the Patcher on its original cast iron stand and it's a rather nice little stand it's a bit sort of in the corner of the machine but that's my problem with space as you know my workshop is not that large anyway I am now at least able to use the treadle unit and you realize actually that going back at the turn of the century people were quite a bit smaller I am quite tall myself but this is quite a low treadle, but it works very well. Anyway, straight into needles. And a machine will obviously take a fair range of needles, but my preferred ones I use, and it works really well with these, are 120s, NM120 needles. So they're 29 by 4, sometimes described as NRTWs. They're basically twist. They have a leather chisel point on the needle. And for the sort of work I do, these needles are great. So here's a close-up of the needle and you'll see it's got a, like a twisty, it's still pointy, but it's more like a chisel point. And there's a slight twist on it. And that's great for penetrating leather and going through really easily. And it goes through nice thick leather. The thread I use for that needle is an N, NM40. Now I'm sorry, I appreciate we have all sorts of different thread numbering systems, so in the States that would translate to something else, which I'm sure you can look up on the internet. You can easily find tables for needles and thread on the internet to tell you the best combinations. And I've got one such table here, and it's from Toledo Industrial Sewing Machines, which look a very good company from the face of it. Not that I live in the States, <laughs> but I know they seem to have a very good uh, correspondence and leather worker net. Anyway, uh, if I'm reading this right, that might, the ticket 40 might well equate to a 69 in the US. But I may have that wrong. I, as I say, it just works for me. It's one of those things. I know in Europe it's an NM40 thread I'm using with that 29 times 4 needle. For fabric, I use 29 times 3 needles. Still size 120, but they're 29 by 3. And these needles have more of a point on them, so unlike the leather chisel ones, these are more like traditional sewing needles with a pointy point, and they're good for penetrating fabric. There we are, I'll attempt to show you a close up. And as you can see, that just looks like a standard sort of needle with a point. So that's the thread I'm using, it's bonded nylon NM40. It's like a very thick cotton, really, it's very strong. Now I'm sure there are probably people who are saying, oh no, you should use X or Y, or I use this and it works well. That's fine. All I'm saying is I've had people ask me what works, and this is what I find works best for me. So hopefully, if you have acquired a patcher and you're wondering what needle and thread to use, that may help you. Okay, well, that's needles and thread. I said I'd just talk briefly about the treadle. So I've now got this on its original treadle base and it's a rather nice old cast iron arrangement and there's a leather drive belt. You can actually adjust the speed of the patcher by moving the leather belt from one wheel to the other. So at the moment I've got it on the smaller wheel which gives a lower speed. So smaller wheel at the bottom, larger wheel at the top. If I had it on the larger wheel at the bottom, I'd have it on the smaller wheel at the top. The belt fits both ways, you don't have to change its length or anything, so it works fine, they're matched, basically. And the treadle, I have a little rubber mat that I acquired on the treadle, not essential, but I find the best treadling action, again, other people may have different views on this, is to spread your feet quite widely on the treadle. And like that, I find I get more control. I'm holding a camera, so this is a bit tricky to try and show. But if you get the sort of idea, I find by having the feet a little bit wider spaced out, 
and further that way, further back. So further forward, further back with one foot. It, you get far better control than if you have both your feet like that. And I'm sorry, I've got my gardening shoes on, so they probably look a bit rough, but there you are. So here, like that, if you spread your feet a little bit, it seems to go quite well. And then what I do just to start, I just touch the wheel around. And that gets it going the right way. It's quite easy to stop. So that's the treadling. That's my, what I find best, to spread your feet one forward, one back, and you get nice control. Right, I'll just show you, before we leave off, sewing in a circle. And this is what would happen if you were patching a garment as well. And it's a great feature of this machine because it's got this little knob you can undo here and you can actually move the foot around. Now, I don't think I covered this particular aspect very thoroughly in my earlier film, which is mainly about threading up tension and capabilities. But this is a very useful little facility and it means this machine can get into places that lots of other machines just can't get there. So for patching and repairs, it really is useful. Obviously it used to be used for things like repairing boots because you've got this long arm. So I'll just show you how this foot can be turned around. So you watch it as I steer that. So the lever is not being moved, but the foot is, and you're able to get this curve going around, which is obviously very useful for patching. It's probably enough to give you the idea. So there you are, that's my little patcher. It gets used from time to time. It's very nice to have it set up now and it's not just a table version so I've got the treadle as well. I have actually put a few new components in it um, just really to get it into tip-top working order and I have to say it is a lot better for that so I'm quite pleased I've done a bit of refurbing on it. But it's a lovely little machine, works really well. Anyway, hope you enjoyed watching that one. Thanks for watching.